Hi, my name's Jeff Curry, and I'm going to speak to you about artificial intelligence, specifically the exciting opportunities available in machine learning and deep learning in radiology and nuclear medicine. It should, however, be kept in mind that the artificial intelligence is a very broad area and applied to a lot of parts of our daily lives. It's almost impossible to navigate yourself around the city without actually experiencing something that is driven by artificial intelligence. And the airport has an amazing array of artificial intelligence applications. Boardrooms and office blocks across the globe have artificial intelligence built into daily activities. And you can't even avoid artificial intelligence when you go to the coffee shop. Our homes have a wide range of products that we use on a daily basis that are driven by artificial intelligence or sometimes designed by artificial intelligence. A variety of artificial intelligence applications have re-engineered the way we do research. Perhaps the most exciting opportunity for artificial intelligence is in the healthcare industry, where it improves the outcomes of patients and to explore new frontiers in outer space. And artificial intelligence is at the heart of new generation environmental protection technologies. Machine learning is a subcategory of the broader artificial intelligence domain. Machine learning uses artificial neural networks to gain a richer insight into data and the relationships within data. It involves business analytics, data mining, and radionic feature identification in medical images. Machine learning helps uncover amazing new knowledge. An artificial neural network models connections between nodes on the human brain. The network starts with data inputs which are mathematically manipulated and weighted as inputs into each node in the next layer of the network. More nodes and more layers mean more complex neural networks. The network is trained to optimize the number of correct answers. Once it's trained and validated, the neural network can be used for problem solving. So what does that look like? It's pretty simple, really. We use fast computers and big data to develop algorithms to better understand things not obvious. This could be all the data from medical records for patients with a specific disease, for example. The outcome might be a simple app for mobile phones to predict health events or virtual algorithms that a doctor can run to help manage patients' health. Deep learning relates to more complex problems and richer data that requires more complex neural networks. So the neural network has more nodes and more layers, which gives it its depth. So we call it deep learning. When images are inputs into neural networks, this requires deep learning, but also needs a convolution step to convert images to data. These are called convolutional neural networks. Convolutional neural networks could be used to interpret simple images like dental x-rays or chest x-rays, or they could be used for complex three-dimensional data sets associated with MRI, CT, and nuclear medicine. Convolutional neural networks and deep learning provide powerful tools in radiology and nuclear medicine to allow faster and more accurate diagnosis and to improve patient therapy. Perhaps the most important application of deep learning in nuclear medicine and radiology at the moment is for object segmentation, which allows identification of lesions of interest, but also extraction of deep radiomic features. Another important application of deep learning is in identifying the presence of disease and providing a risk score or probability to inform reporting. That brings us to the end of a basic and very quick introduction to artificial intelligence in radiology and nuclear medicine. If you want further details or deeper information, feel free to hit my playlist on YouTube where there's a whole raft of information available there.